There are some mistakes that you only make once in your life. I don't mean like forgetting your anniversary. A few years ago, my wife says to me during the Hanukkah vacation, let's go to J.C. Penney and take family portraits. Harmless, why not? That's great. Hanukkah, which is when the break was, was also December 25th. So we were in J.C. Penney with four billion people. I will spare you the details of what it did to me, but you never make that mistake again. <laughs> After waiting hours, I go outside, if you're familiar with where I live, by the Aventura Mall. I go outside, I want to sit down and tell my kids stories. There's a row of chairs. There's an African-American woman in her 70s sitting here, an empty chair, and then I sat down with my kids. Before I start the story, I turn to her. Hello, mental height decency. Happy holidays, I say to her. And she says to me, Happy Hanukkah to you. Mit de ganze Hanukkah. She saw I was flummoxed. So she says, Don't be so surprised. In the 70s, 1970s, I used to answer the phone in the Sovereign Hotel. I'm living in Miami 47 years. This is me talking. In the 70s and 80s, we had a strip of kosher hotels, the Crown, the Caribbean, the Sovereign, the Saxony, and many others. Aleim HaSholim. They don't exist anymore. I was the operator on the phone in the Sovereign. By the way, many G'dayla. My Zaydi, Rabbi Yosef Shapiro. We just spoke about my Zayda. Rabbi Aaron said about the Zayda, the Gresta Masvid in Gans America. He used to go there as did other G'daylim. Bereishim the Gadol Hadar, Rabbi Yankov Kamenetsky. She's talking about all the rabbis, and in my kishkas I needed to know, lady, do you remember Rabbi Yankov? Now if you think about it, it's ridiculous. I'm asking a black woman, do you remember the particular row from 40 years ago? It's a silly question. She starts talking about one rabbi, he was the greatest. We knew not to shake his hand, we could shake the hand of his wife. But all day long they called for him. He was the wisest man and he smiled and he let us know that he cared and he lit up our night. Here's my chance. I jump in. By chance, lady, you remember his name? And she looked at me like I was crazy, which she had every right to, asking someone you remember half a century later. She says to me, do I remember his name? Do I remember his name? It was Rabbi Kamenetsky. Who did you think I was talking about, if not Rabbi Kamenetsky? Now, if she would have gone on to tell me the Rosh Hashiva from Vadas and Mechaber Emes Liyankiv, I probably would have lost it. <laughs> By now, her son picks her up, and before she's at the door exit, I'm crying. And my kids knew why. Do you remember what you wore yesterday, had for breakfast three days ago? A black woman remembers Rabbi Yankiv 40 years later because of how he made her feel. Let somebody know that you care. Talk to them. Converse with them. Let them know what you value in life. Light up the night. I told my kids, I hope in 40 years we're remembered that way. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.